What's up, guys? Um, just while I'm cutting here, I'm just going to do a quick review on this this uh, clone saw. So my wife has uh, MS-180C, and she wanted something a little bit bigger but was really light. And while I was doing an order uh, around Christmas time, I ordered her one of these clone saws. They're like $100 shipped, and it's an MS-250 clone from Hudson. Um, I'll show it to you, and what I'm doing is I'm uh, going to got to do whatever you got to do to pay the bills and I'm bucking firewood right now and uh, as you can see the pile here it's dirty wood um, it's all mostly red oak and white oak you can see uh, uh, this is a big white oak here red oak but uh, it's all nasty dirty shit I'm trying to buck up some of the drier stuff first so uh, this will all be stuff's all seasoned and ready to go and then we'll move over to the new pile over here uh, this is kind of newer stuff that's going to need some time, but uh, so here's a saw It's a straight MS 250 clone. Uh, I ordered a little 18 Forester for it with uh, 325 um, Pitch chain on it um, I When I first got it it idled like shit I just couldn't get the low side to work right, so I ripped the carb out and put uh, the Walbro. I think on this it's a, w, it's a WT215, which is the uh, MS250 OEM carb. I put one of those in, and I also put a steel. I broke a clutch spring pretty much right away, so I ended up putting a steel uh, clutch package in it with a steel clutch and the steel drum and went to the floating sprocket instead of that spur drive thing that comes on them. Um, you know, I'll be honest with you guys, for the price of these saws, it's not worth dicking around with Hudson trying to get shit replaced and this, that, and the other thing. They'll just nickel and dime you to death and want pictures and it's back and forth. I, I believe there's a language gap, but um, also, you know, I, the, from having to deal with them over and over again, I think they just constantly feel like... Uh, everybody's trying to screw them so whenever i mean for the price of these saws whenever i have something go wrong i just go down to my steel dealer and buy an oem part for it so you know um they over time they become closer and closer and closer to you know oem saws but so this is an ms250 clone i would call it homeowner grade it's a clamshell design it's not a Pro grade saw, but it's got great, great power as you're going to see when I uh, run it here in some of this big wood for a little saw. Now I'm running uh, 268 and a 272 XP, but uh, I have full chisel on these. Um, and with these full chisel chains, when I get into some of this real dirtier wood, you're beating the crap out of the chains really quick. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this to buck up some of the dirtier wood. Uh, before I just run that freshly sharpened one and buck up some of the bigger stuff with that. So I'm just going to let the video run, you know, try and get you guys in a good place so you can see it. And um, you can check it out. I mean, now with the 215 carb in it, it, it starts easy, uh, runs great, idles fine. It's got really good power. Uh, I got it tuned right around 13,000, you know, nothing crazy. All my saws are work saws, so, you know, I don't, I don't need to... Uh, you know run races with them so you'll get to see here i'm gonna get you in a little uh, mount thing here and so i can get you in a good spot to check it out Let's see how that looks yeah that's pretty good i'll try it from there maybe i'll move you over closer in a minute but let's just run it from there for a sec
So the reason that I'm using this in the dirty wood is because it's got JGX on it. Um, I just wanted to get some of the small dirty wood out of my way before I cut, start cutting some of the bigger logs. But So I want to show it to you. Um, it's MS-250 clone. I think what I'll do this winter is I'll take all these plastics off and probably dye them all black. Um, 
But yeah, it's got uh, for a little dinky saw that I got for my wife. It's it's got really good power. Um, seems to run good. Once I swapped out the clutch and the and the uh, carb, it really runs great. I mean, I probably have let's just say. 30 and 30 so I probably have $160 in this uh, shipped no plus the bar so maybe $190 in this in this uh, saw shipped with the bar and chain on it um, but yeah I'm gonna get up to uh, get into running some real saws these these uh, LGX the full chisel chains are really starting to get down into uh, almost race ready and almost race chains now <laughs> so uh, I'll get back at it. Hope you guys have a great day. It's a hot one out here and uh, just got to do what we got to do to pay the bills, guys. Stay busy. Stay safe.